Hey guys, it's Landon from Refine Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with Subversion, version control on a Microsoft Windows computer. So I have Tortoise SBN installed, I have a folder here on my local hard drive, C, R, H, Jobs, SVN, and what we want to do is we want to install, or, or not install, we want to check out the repository that I have created on a subversion host called Project Locker. We want to install a copy of the repository, which is currently empty. So to do that, we're gonna come down. Once you have Tortoise SVN installed, you'll get this little pop-up, this uh, command on your pop-up window called Tortor, Tortoise, Tortoise SVN, excuse me. And what we wanna do is we wanna check out a repository. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So. I've got the URL in here. You can you can um, usually get this URL from whatever host you're using for your subversion. Okay, so it's already uh, been pasted in there. It's saying, hey, here's where we're gonna um, we're gonna do our checkout. And what kind do we want to do? We want to do fully recursive. That means we want everything in it. And this this here for revision. This is uh, you can you can choose a particular version. We talk, I talked about that in the video I did on SVN Concepts which we'll try and link to in the project in the video description on, on YouTube. But you, as a default, you, you want the head. This is the latest version. That's what you typically want. Okay, so we're going to say, OK. And it's going to ask for the username and password, which we will put in. And we'll hit OK again. OK, so it just created. This is the folder. The default folder that comes in that repository okay so we now have a copy of the local repository sitting on our hard drive now what I want to do is I want to copy uh, a job into here it's a new job we're going to copy in here and we're going to paste it in and then we're going to commit that job back to the repository okay so it's this job here so we're just going to copy this and we are going to paste it right in here Okay, now this is in our local copy now, but it is not yet in the central repository. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to click on this folder that has a repository. And we're going to say Tortoise SVN. This time we're going to click Commit. Okay, and it's going to say it sees all the new files, folders and files that we've committed. Okay, so what we, what we want to tell it is, hey, we want all that. So you don't have to take it all, but we do. We want all. And then you want to put a message in here. So we're going to say initial commit of job number 084-001. Okay. Short and snappy. And then uh, we can just put today's date, which is the 18th in our initials. Okay. And we're going to say OK. And you can see here, you can watch it It's as it commits all the files. It's keeping track. It's taking it a little bit because these are, these are some big files. But in my, in my video on the kind of the concepts of version control, when I talked about making the, the commits and updates specific, this is, this is what I was talking about, right? So you can actually see this commit to the central repository as it happens. Okay, so when you're done with your commit, your, excuse me, your commit, um, it'll let you know it's completed that transaction and it will tell you this is the first revision to the repository. And it shows you here, you added 131 files. We just say, okay. And now the contents of this folder are now on the central repository. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go to a different computer. And we're going to check out this repository on the new computer so you can see that it comes with this folder that we've just uh, committed, this job folder, uh, 84001. Hey, guys, it's Landon. I am on my other computer now. And I've got my uh, folder created, my C drive, my local hard drive, RH Jobs SVN. And so what we want to do now is we want to check out 
a current copy of the repository, the Subversion repository, and we'll see if our Job84 folder is in there. So I'm going to right click just on the empty space here in Windows Explorer, pull up the Tortoise SVN menu. You can also go right here to SVN Checkout, either one. Okay, and we want to, actually that's the one we want. We want to go to Checkout. Okay, now I have to have that same um, that same URL, uh, which I forgot to get, so forgive me for that. But I know I emailed it to myself. Okay, so we're going to drop that URL in, and we are going to say we want fully recursive, and we want the current version, the head, the head revision, and we're going to just hit OK. Now it's going to ask for the username and password, so we got to put that in. And then we'll hit OK. And then you can see here, it is currently checking out. Right? So it's adding all those files that are on the repository, and it's just giving a list. You can see it already created the folder here. Okay, so when you're all done, it's just going to tell you it's complete, and you have a revision or version number one of the repository. And now if we come in here, we've got everything we were looking for. Now, these little green check marks on the folders, that just tells you that, that you have the current version. Okay, if I create a new, let's just make a new text document. It doesn't have a green checkbox. Check mark, sorry. That means it hasn't been committed to the repository yet. So there's just a little visual cue that Tortoise SVN gives you so that you can know um, if, if the folder or file you're looking at has been has been committed to the repository. That's about it. That's as simple as it is. Um, so we now have a copy of the job folder from our repository. And that's basically all, all there is to it on, on the basics, the basics for... Uh, working with Subversion version control. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.